Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Aries. What is your life's purpose for January 2024? Uh, so we're going to take a look and see what that is. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Uh, you can apply this to any of your placements. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aries people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, and my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. All right, so let's start with some Oracle messages and then we'll get into the tarot. Tell me about um, Aries, Aries and their life's purpose. Aries and their life purpose. What is Aries life's purpose for January 2024 for Aries? Flowers, okay. Flowers, working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessing to others through your life's purpose. So this is like gardening. This is like being a botanist or something like that, working in the parks or something like that, and just really connecting with nature. Perhaps using nature as a healing modality or something like that, okay? Maybe you guys are into herbs, you know? You guys are into Eastern medicine, whatever that may be. It has something to do with plants here, something natural. And on the bottom of the deck, you are on the, on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working, okay? So I do feel like whatever you're doing here, perhaps you are on the right path. If you're not doing this, maybe this is something that you're leaning towards. I mean, some of you guys could be in this uh, place of like just doing energy work, using the elements around you here for uh, as a healing modality here, uh, Aries, okay? What else do we have here for Aries when it comes to their life's purpose? What else do we have here for Aries when it comes to their life's purpose? For January 2024, we have the Page of Cups here and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, interestingly enough, on the bottom of the deck here, we have sensitivity and then we have crystals here. So maybe you guys use kind of like different things as a, uh, as a modality for healing. Crystals, perhaps you guys do energy work because I feel like you guys feel, you guys just feel immensely. You guys are really tapped into energies, people, you know? So I feel like you guys are definitely like, you know, perhaps you guys are definitely doing what you're meant to do or that you guys are leaning towards it here, okay? Some of you guys might have a lot of water energy, just a lot of psychic energy in your charts, okay? With the four of pentacles here and the five of pentacles, you know, I feel like you might feel you're so sensitive. You guys are so sensitive. You guys might feel like a lot of the grief that's currently maybe going on in, in the collective consciousness right now. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you guys are doing ceremony surrounding the collective consciousness healing the collective consciousness, the grief of the collective consciousness here with the Empress here and judgment. I do feel like you are in the right path here. Yeah, I really feel strongly a lot of guys do do healing work, energy work here. Okay, with the Empress Libra Taurus here and judgment card. You are doing what you're meant to do. You know, I do feel like some, this is something that you've been doing for a long time. Maybe some of you guys got recently got certified or that you guys are looking to do that. Okay, so you guys can apply this to your own timelines here. Judgment. Judgment in the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces here, the Empress here, and the Moon. Yeah, you guys are highly intuitive here. Yeah, you guys have, uh, you guys are highly intuitive. I do feel like, you know, I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely really psychically connected to all the elements around you and using that as a healing modality here. Okay. Yeah. Some of you guys could do psychic work. Some of you guys could do mediumship work or something like that. Or that some of you guys could be, you know, helping spirits cross over to the other side. So I'm with the five of cups here, the five of cups here and the wheel of fortune. Yeah. This is something that you're destined to do here, Aries. This is embedded into your DNA. This is what you're meant to do. People do come to you for advice. You know, people do come to you for help. People do look up to you here, Aries, okay? So we have the high, uh, Hangman Piscean energy with the Hierophant Taurus energy here. And we have the Nine of Wands, yeah. <clears throat> so this is about healing other people's pain and trauma. 
make sure you protect yourself here because you're highly intuitive you are highly very sensitive here and i feel like a lot of guys do absorb energies like a sponge here okay i do feel like you guys have a very 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 pure vessel so that you, you guys are able to do this work to your fullest potential here. What else do we have here for Aries? What else does Aries need to know? Look out for work on for January 2024. We have the Strength card, Leo Energy, and the Seven of uh, Seven of Wands here. So when it comes to this work, energetic boundaries are really important here. Okay, boundaries with people are important. You know, sometimes when we do, we do the, the, this type of work, a lot of times people tend to like to ask for freebies. You know, so make sure you stand your grounds because you know. The energy exchange that we provide, the service that we provide for these individuals, it's not really free, you know? It's 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 currency, it's energy being exchanged here, you know? So make sure you don't allow people to take advantage of you. Whatever that might look like to you, I mean, it could be, you know, any amount that you choose that fits you. But, you know, I do feel like, you know, you should charge what you feel like you deserve. You know, um, so, you know, I do feel like moving forward, there are a lot of people coming towards you here because people see you as a very balanced feminine and masculine uh, energies here. OK, so I feel like people do come to you and, you know, I do feel like how the word spreads is through word of mouth and social media here. I do feel like, you know, whatever you're doing here, I do feel like, you know, I do feel like you guys are definitely making some big plans here. Yeah, I do feel like you guys also do outer body work, you know, um, you know, stuff with the underworld, you know, maybe astral travel and stuff like that. Maybe you guide people through that or that you're guiding people through that here. The Page of Swords and the Two of Cups here, Page of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Strong masculine energy here. Maybe the work that you're meant to do is healing the masculine energies here. You know, healing, a part of the wounding of the masculine is not being able to express their emotions, you know, kind of like bottling it up. Maybe that's something that you specialize in. Maybe you specialize in child, uh, inner child work here, you know, past life regression work here too. And the Queen, wa the Queen of Wands here and the Knight of Cups, we have the Emperor here and the Ace of Swords. So this could be indication that you guys, uh, you know, are building a community surrounding the work that you do here too, because there's a lot of people here, you know, uh, perhaps you're teaching people how to form strong relationships with themselves to be in alignment with themselves to connect with themselves in a higher spiritual level here uh, to provide to provide truth to provide clarity here okay yeah so aries I, this is looking really 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 good and you know you are on the right path here that's a great card that's a great energy to be in because I do feel like you guys are doing what you're meant to do. And I do feel like a lot of you guys are definitely enjoying it. I mean, if you guys are not doing it, I mean, this could be kind of like future predictive. You know, maybe you guys have thought about doing something like this. And perhaps this is confirmation for you guys. Okay. So Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.